to create because we don't see things like that normally on a normal uh, everyday basis shopping for jewelry here. I wanted you to see this ring. This one is another cigar band style ring, but this one has the lattice design. I think it's absolutely gorgeous. Don't you agree? Uh, I do. Absolutely <laughs> gorgeous. This one is such a standout piece because in that lattice design, you have the high polish at the high points of the lattice, and then you have that beautiful satin finish on the inside of each piece. And then as it tapers down, as the um, show, as the uh, shank tapers down, you've got that high polish going all the way around both the outside as well as the inside of the ring. Exactly. So uh, what you were talking about the satin finish, mm -hmm. which is actually called graffiato. Graffiato is graffiato. because actually it's it's the kind of scratch effect that is giving to the surface of the ring itself. So you are creating a unique piece of gold jewelry, 14 karat jewelry, with an alternated polished and graffiato finish. So imagine that someone looks at, at your ring and they're like, oh my goodness, how beautiful that is. Mm -hmm. And you're there and you're and you're ready to say, it's a graffiato finish. <laughs> you have it, you have all that information that you're not for sure gonna have if you walk into a jewelry store. Mm -hmm. So it's 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 a technique of scratching the surface of gold and giving that texturing um, that makes that beautiful contrast with the high polish. Oh wow. And you can see it. I mean you can clearly see it. We're showing it to you close up on your screen, but imagine when you're looking at this on your finger. Imagine as you're wearing this every day, you've got that mm -hmm. blend of the high polish and the satin, the scratching of the surface there, so you've got texture. It's gonna play beautifully next to any other bracelet that you have. It truly so is. So sophisticated. It has the same gallery in the inside as the mm -hmm. other one, so mm -hmm. it's very comfortable to wear. Um, and what I love about it is that lattice that we call grata, grata. which is very popular in Italy okay. on the houses, on the windows. Mm -hmm. You have those lattices that in the medieval period, mm -hmm. they were there. In sense of protection okay. you know especially during the periods and when they were they had wars mm -hmm. so they had to defend the houses but it became like a decorative element of the house mm -hmm. you could see like beautiful cutouts in these lattices which are amazing wow. every single I mean if you if, if you go in like Arezzo which is a like a totally medieval town, mm -hmm. you can see all these beautiful artworks in the buildings. It's just like amazing. Oh so goodness. imagine taking a trip to Italy and, mm -hmm. and you know, right. bringing a piece back like this. And that's what this is. I mean, it truly is a truly Italian piece of jewelry. It is um, in its inspiration in its development, in its artistry, everything about this just speaks Italian, and, and, you know, quite literally. <laughs> exactly, and then when we sit down with, with the designers, I mean, we work together with the designers and with the artisans, because it's a matter of bringing, everyone has to bring their experience. The mm -hmm. artisans have their knowledge in arts, in culture, in history, in trends and fashion, obviously. And the artisans, the, the master artisans are, are really have that great knowledge in the technology, but not only in the technology, they have been owning the company and working with gold mm -hmm. for years and years. As I said before, they are family owned businesses where the grandfather is still working there telling the daughter or the son what to do and not to do, <laughs> telling them, teaching them, right. you know, the techniques that mm -hmm. have been brought from one generation to another. And this is something that cannot be paid back. And I mean, it's amazing. Yeah. And that's the kind of thing, like you said, it, it's something that is, there's so many generations of knowledge still working and still creating, so you're not having to reinvent the wheel with every generation. All of that information is coming on, and then, the, you know, um, the younger generation brings a different kind of spin, a different kind of technology to it, and just, it grows. And that's why the love uh, of Italian gold has never faded. As a matter of fact, it's stronger now than, every, than ever. And I mean all over the world. It is so revered in Italy, but even, I think, even uh, just as much in every other country that really does appreciate quality, which is what you see in every single piece, artistry, design, this is a ring that you're gonna wear and enjoy and you're gonna enjoy talking about it as well. Every time you get a compliment on it, and you will, 
from you know everywhere you go this is something that you can tell uh, you know the person who complimented you you can tell them the story of the lattice how is it was inspired how it was created and as you look at that and as you wear it you're, it's going to be a piece that you're going to be excited that you but isn't were able it to also up. amazing the fact that once you know about it mm -hmm. you know it's one of those pieces that you can give to your niece or to your daughter oh, wow. like in 10 years time and yes. and bring that that story back to them you know right. tell them about when you purchased it tell mm -hmm. them about the whole story behind the piece about the manufacturing because you know I give some tips here and there